Warning, what you are about to hear is loud, vulgar, and not appropriate for or around children. You have been warned. Nightclub, episode 7, How to Kill a Witch, part 2. Written and directed by Thomas Taylor Randall. Previously on Nightclub, after last week's shocking narrating debacle, I, Transatlantic Ted, have been called upon to be your narrator for the evening. Now, as you all know, last week we left our heroes in a stunning realization that after failing to kill the witch, they would now have to embark upon a quest of killing the real witch. Exciting, I know. Now, before you get your jimmies in a twist and your ties in a knot, I'd say it was time we jumped on in. It, uh, it would appear so, George. This is not a good idea, Richard. We should turn back now whilst we still can. We can't do that, Yorick. Think about the poor children. I've thought about the children. Oh, I bet you have. <laughs> but what you don't seem to understand, George, is that there is clearly a real witch in that tower. One who has real magical abilities and one who could paint the walls with our blood at the click of her fingers if she wanted to. Uh, ex- excuse me a moment. I need to, um, pee. Yes, pee. I'll, I'll be right back. You need me to hold, sir? No, George, I do not. Just... Just... just stay here. Hmm, that's odd. Sir always wants me to hold. Oh, good. I bet he's run off to think of an excuse so we don't have to fight this witch. We don't actually know if she's a witch. What? Of course we bloody do. No. No, Elfman. No, we don't. Oh, come on! The tower has bloody lightning coming from it. Freak weather storms are not uncommon in these lands. I would say it would be a good idea to knock and ask her. I can't believe you right now. You were willing to believe that poor old lady with a cutesy little cottage was a witch without any evidence. But now, you're faced with a dark, crooked and spooky looking tower with bloody lightning shooting out of it, and you think what? That perhaps we have the wrong end of the stick? What? Well, I'm sorry, Al, but I don't judge it, but I discover! Oh, shit! You know what I think? I don't care. I think you're scared. Me? Scared? <gasps> Never! Oh really? Then why is it you would happily jump at the opportunity to attack an old lady, but refuse to even consider fighting a real witch? I fear no man, woman, or evil white slag with magical powers! Yeah, I'm certain that's the case. Hey! You're the one just arguing the option of leaving! That makes you a scaredy cat! No, it makes me smart. I mean, how are the four of us supposed to storm a tower and kill a witch all by ourselves? Richard can't fight. I'm back. George can only bite, and I doubt he's going to be able to get close enough to a witch to even do that. I can also spit if need be. I said, I'm back. And you know, well, you are just the worst of all. You just throw random glass bottles and hope for the best. You never even know what it is you're throwing. I do too! Right enough. This childish behaviour cannot be allowed to continue any further. This constant bickering is preventing us from formulating a coherent and strategically sound plan. Your intelligence is the only thing preventing that, Richard. Let's not pretend otherwise. I'm sorry. What was that, Yurik? Nothing, sir. Damn right, nothing. Stand up straight, soldier. Excuse me? Your daddy might have let you get away with this insubordinate behaviour when you were part of his army, but it won't fly here. Do you understand me? Wait, how did said. You- Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Then enough of this bickering. Whoa! You tell a boss, man! Damn! I never expected that You watch yourself, gnome. If you want to talk like a man, then you best grow a few more inches so you can stand like one. Ouch, boss, man! What is going into you, sir? I am sick of leading a band of idiots. That's what, George. We have a real threat ahead of us, gentlemen. And if we don't start acting like soldiers and taking this seriously, then we are dead. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Good. Now, here's what we're going to do. We'll split into two strike teams. One will find their way in through the front of the tower, and the other shall find their way in through the back. From there, we will search for this witch. Once fighting begins, I assume it will be rather loud. 
This will give the second strike team a chance to rush in and catch her by surprise, thus making it easier to kill her. Understand? I said, do you understand? I, uh, well, I must say I am impressed, Bridget. Me too, boss man. Magnificent plan if I do say so myself. Yes, sir. Very good plan indeed. Good. Now, help. No. Considering you two seem to be having issues lately, I'm deciding to send you two in as a pair. What? Your constant bickering is far from professional. It's like having two children here. You'll need to learn to work together if you're ever going to be a real threat to something like a witch. And I will hear no bickering on the subject. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Then let's go. To be a back door. Just, just stone walls. Maybe, maybe I should create a hole. What do you reckon, Al? Hmm. What was that? I said maybe I should just create a hole for us to go in through. You, you know, with, with my potions. Yes, perhaps. Oh, you kitty diddler! Are you listening? Hmm. Sorry, what? God! Can you put your fucking head out your ass and listen to me, would you? I'm sorry. It's just. Did Richard seem odd to you earlier? Odd? I don't know. Was he ever normal? No, I mean like more than usual. Oh, I get it now. You're still butthurt that you dragged your daddy issues into it. I have to say, it makes a lot more sense why you touch kids. What was that you just said? Huh? Oh, well, I, I was just saying, given your daddy issues, I'm not surprised you end up fucking... No, you idiot. About the daddy issues. What? Earlier when Richard dropped that dope-ass line about your daddy Yes, you see, that's what I'm talking about, no. I've never once mentioned my father to him. To any of you, in fact. How did he even know about my father? Uh, lucky guess, most likely. I mean, it's not hard to deduce with you being a total arsewipe who's overly indulged in his own image and talks about like he spent years with a broom handle on that. Yes, all right, no. Oh, my God, you'd talk away for hours just to hear the sound of your own voice, wouldn't you? Of course it would! I'm the only one around here who has actual sensible things to say. Mm. Right, let me find a potion of special door making or some shit. What? What do you mean special door making? I've never heard of that potion before. Oh, chill your tits, would ya? It's a fucking net name I gave to my potion set, go boom. Mm. Ah, here it is. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold on just a minute now. What makes you think I'm going to allow you to blow anything up? Mm. You just said two minutes ago that you're fine with it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, you flip flopping fuck. Well, forget what I may have accidentally agreed to two minutes ago and put away the damn potion right now. <laughs> fine. Hmm. Some boss man would have let me blow this whole place down. Yes, because he's an idiot. And that's the point I'm trying to make. What damn point? The point that Richard disappeared for no more than a minute, then suddenly returned with more knowledge than his small little mind can comprehend. I mean, look at what we're doing right now. This is somewhat of an intelligent plan, and it came from the man who less than a few weeks ago was breaking in through the back of pubs and committing criminal offences to prove he was intelligent. How does a plan like this come from a man like that? Hmm, you make a point. Could be the drug shoved up his rectum, finally deteriorating and seeping into his anal cavity. No, I don't think it... Wait, what? Richard is my drug mule! Ah, I swear I've covered this before. Well, look, I'm going to drop this for now, but we are most certainly coming back to it. What I'm trying to get through to you is that something is clearly up here. Something I can't quite put my finger on. Well, let's not stand out here in the rain all bloody night mulling over your crackpot theories. I'm getting drenched! I'm gonna wear a dressing gown in case you haven't fucking noticed. Oh, I've noticed. And let me tell you, that's something else we need to talk about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come with me! Where are we going? Well, he won't let me blow a hole in the wall, then our only option is to find a waste pipe that runs out the tower and into the river over there. How do you even know this tower has a waste pipe? Everyone's got a shell. You witches. Come on. Oh, fine. What sort of drugs have you got stashed away in Richard's arm? I got everything. 
Oh, really? Are you alright, sir? Hmm? Yes, of course I am, George. Why do you ask? Well, you did just help me open a door, sir. Yes, so? So, you never help me open doors, sir. Well, what can I say, George? You normally say that lifting, opening, or moving heavy objects is the role of a common man and is far beneath the high honour of knight, sir. I say that? Jeez, I really must be an arsehole. Hmm. Well, look, my dear squire. Things are changing from this moment on. You shall not be my slave of hard labour no more. Are you sure you're okay, sir? For the last time, George, I am fine. Now come on, we need to find this witch. Yes, sir. Aha! I found it! I told you, Alf! Yes, all right. Bravo, gnome, you found a ship pipe. Oh! A witch's ship pipe! Oh, never say that again, please. Come on! It's time for us to take a dive in some sweet, sweet witch nectar! You make me sick, Gnome. I just want you to know that. Last one in is a rotten gimp! Whee! Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, by the gods, this is putrid. <sighs> that right there? That right there is the smell of pure magic! Yes, well, if that's the case, I think I'll stick with my swords. Ugh, by the gods, it's so dark down here. No problem! I got it covered! What are you doing? Mm, looking for a specific ball. Mm. Ah! Here it is! Wait, before you throw that, are you absolutely sure you know exactly what it does? Of course! Now you don't throw this one! Watch! <coughs> Dear Lord of Smite, give me light! Oh, well, it, it just looked bad. Yeah? What else did you fucking expect? Well, to be perfectly honest, I expected something to go horribly wrong. Oh, please, this isn't my first... Oh, shit! Wrong potion! Wait, what? Uh, fuck! Uh, oh, okay! Uh, that, that may be maybe one of the ones that go boom! Well, shouldn't we get out of here? No, no, the, the, the shit stream should have extinguished it. Ah! Ah! Here it is! Dear Lord of Smite, give me mine. Ah! Here we go. Alright. Come on, let's get moving. Oh, yes, please, let's. If we spend too long in here, I may just curl up my friend. <sighs> Sir! How many more stairs have we got left to climb? As many as it takes, my dear squire. The witch is likely to be at the very top of this tower. Oh, sir. Shouldn't... Shouldn't we go and find the children first? There'll be time to save the children after we kill the witch, George. Mm. As you say, sir. Ah, there's the door. You ready for this, George? Actually, give me a minute to catch my breath, sir. Of course, George. All the time you need. Are you... Are you not tired, sir? Hmm? Me? No, not really. Are you sure? I mean, that is the most you've ever walked in ten years, sir. Is it? Ah, well, as I said, George, times are changing. Hmm. Anyway, let's do this. There's no one here, sir. Yes. That would appear to be the case, George. Though, this definitely looks like a living quarters. Search around. There must be something in here. I swear, there must be more than one person living here. No way one witch can fill this damn sewage pipe up to my knees. Uh, 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 I will admit, this is as, as fun as I initially thought. Are you okay down there? Honestly? No. It, it's times like these that make me miss Fry. Yes, I would imagine so. Did, did you hear that? Hear what? That! Listen! Um, what the hell was that? I don't know. What, 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 what the 
Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, Stand behind me, man. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Stay back, you bastard! Flenzo, we've got to move now! I, I can't! This shit was too deep! What the hell are these things? They... they... they look like demons! No, it's worse. They're... demon children. Arousal assuring? Now is really not the time, you stupid little fuck! Stay back, I'm warning you! Yeah! He's a registered sex offender! You you come one step closer and I'll like a title off so quicker than a, a fucking plane to a back! Flenzy, you little rat! Stop making jokes and throw a damn potion at them! Fucking hell, Yorick! I can't do that! Why not? Because I can't look to see what potion I'll throw! Do you know how fucking irresponsible that is? Are you fucking kidding me right now? That's all you ever do! Back! Stay back! Stay back, you little... Oh shit! What the fuck is wrong? There isn't anything here, sir. Just old books and scriptures. Keep looking, George. There must be something hidden away in. Did you hear that? No, sir. I didn't. Ah! What was that, sir? Shh! It sounds like something is coming from the cupboard over there. Get behind me, George. Sir, be careful. We don't know what's in there. Easy does it. Stay back, you! Stay away! Ah, bravo, Monty. Not only did you manage to destroy the entire room, but you also managed to nearly kill me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I, uh, I thought you said to make it look believable. Yes, well, next time, don't try and kill me. A simple <laughs> tap will do. Sir? Oh, for the love of Dimera. You didn't even put the poor boy to sleep, Monty. Uh, 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 so, sorry, ma'am. Right away. Wakey, wakey, George. Uh, uh, sir? Yes, that's it. Take it easy now. Here, drink this. That's it. How are you feeling? <coughs> My head hurts. Yes, I am sorry about that, George. Monty packs quite the punch. Who's Monty? Uh, that'd be me. Sir, I don't remember you having a monkey friend. I'm a monkey man, asshole. Monty, that's no way to talk to our guest. Apologize now. But no buts. In fact, get out of my sight. Go check on the prisoners. <sighs> yes, ma'am. I am sorry about him, George. He's usually better mannered than that, I swear. Uh, what's going on? Why am I tied up? Why do you have prisoners, sir? I'm friends. None of this makes any sense. Look. I know it must all seem a little confusing, George. The truth is, I'm not Richard. I am known to select few as Countess Leah Redwood. And to even fewer, my name is Kunlara. Kunlara? Kunlara. You've heard of me, no? Um, Kunlara? Yes, I think so. Well, please, tell me. What have you heard? You, um, you take naughty children in the night and, um, use them. To make child stew, and you, um, you have the face of, uh, a demon, yes, a demon, with horns and black eyes. Yes, I heard that tale as well. Though the truth isn't nearly as exciting as that. The truth is, making stew out of children would be a waste of their potential. As for the whole looking like a demon. <gasps> See, George, do I look like some scary monster to you? No, you... Beautiful! <laughs> well, thank you. You see, not all of us witches are terrible creatures. Well, you do have me tied to a chair. That's for my own safety, George. I know your loyalty to your master is unrivaled by any other mortal. I couldn't have you attacking me now, could I? 
Guess not. Um, are you going to kill me? No, I just want to talk. About... about what? Your destiny, George. <gasps> oh, ah, it's in my eyes! Oh, 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 it's in my eyes! The shit's in my eyes! <laughs> oh, I think I swallowed some. This was a stupid fucking idea. We should have just blown a new hole in the tower. There's someone else's shit in my pants. Oh, you know what? Next time, Gnome, I'll let you bloody do it. Oh, I swear, but I've got pink eye again. Something nearly blinded me last time. Well, looks like we lost our attackers. Yeah, they probably drowned in the ocean of shit. I wonder what caused that anyway. Likely your potion you dropped in earlier. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, shall we press on? I suppose. I do hope George and Richard are faring better. That's unlikely. They're probably dead at this point. Yes. That is a distinct possibility. Dips on Richard's gold! Oh, hells no! I'm entitled to at least half of that. What? Why? For nearly drowning in a witch's shit. There has to be some sort of compensation payout for that. Uh, fine, you can have half of half. No, half. Three quarters of half. Uh half. Oh, fine, you greedy fucking shed. Uh, I swear you. I don't like it, damn it. You know who my father is. Did you hear that note? Uh, yeah, I know that whiny fucking penetration of a voice anyway. Boss man lives. Where is it coming from? Sounds like the hole over there. The one in the ceiling? No, the one in your cunt face. Of fucking course the one in the ceiling. All right, you little rat. I was just making sure. God, maybe if you stop thinking of children all day, your brain would be able to come up with some simple fucking conclusions. Do not start on the children thing again. Wow! Is it a sore spot? Yes, it bloody is. Now come on, we have to save Richard. Well, do we though? What? Yes, of course we do. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, uh, if, if we let him die, we can just uh, take his gold. Flenza, I can't believe you would even come up with such an idea. Where's your loyalty? Uh, fucking hell. I'll give you half. Half, you say? Oh, well, uh, I suppose we could. Flenza, is that you? Oh, fuck. Shh. If we be quiet, he will think he is hearing things. Guys, are you down there? Help me, please. Uh, no! No, it is not Flenza and um, you're what it! What the hell, Flenza? I said be quiet! Oh, thanks for God! Guys, quick! You've got to get me out of here! Oh, you see what you've done, though? Uh, yeah, 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 I know. Fuck now. Yeah, give me a boost up! No! Come on, don't be a tosser! You're covered in shit! We're both covered in shit! Guys, come on! Stop messing around and save me already! Look! This cunt is going to be bitching if we don't save them, and that's likely to attract the attention of the witch. So pull your head out of your ass and lift me! Oh, fine. But I swear I will only hate you more for this. Yeah, yeah. Just lift me onto your shoulders. Come on, then. Woohoo! Watch it! There. Uh, uh. Can you see anything? Yeah, I see him! Flenza! Oh, how glad uh, I am to see where you! Where is he? In a prison cell. Yeah, hello, Richie boy. Oh, I knew my loyal men would come to save me after I didn't return from my pee. Yeah, well, we, we uh, wait, what? You've been gone since then? Well, yes, of course. I mean, why else would you be here if not to save me? Uh, so I'm right here. Oh, by the gods, Flenza, you're not wearing any underwear. Mm, tell you what. Yes, Yorick, I know. I didn't say outside that I was only wearing my dressing gown. Oh, you disgust me. Have you never heard of keeping a tidy altar? No, Yorick, I guess I haven't. Have you ever heard of not being a moany little bitch? Just, just get up there. I, I can't deal with this. Oh, my. Um, Yorick, I think it's best you stay down there. What? Why? Well, there, there's, there's a great many chained up and unconscious children in here. I think for the sake of your freedom, it might be best you don't come in here. Oh, shut up and help me. Fine! 
Oh, by the gods, we need to help these poor children. Um, excuse me, I'm more important. Help me first. Yeah, right, boss man. Yurik, hand me one of them swords. Why? To, to pry the damn gate open. Just give it. Fine, but you'd better not bend the blade. Yeah. All right, Richie boy. Stand back whilst I give this lock a good jimmy. No, Gnome, you're doing it wrong. You've got to pull away from the bar, not push into it. That's what I'm doing! No, you're not. You're clearly pushing. Look, do you want to give it a try? You know what? I will. No! Piss off! This is my task. Move out of the way. No! Flenza, it's my sword. It's my task! Give it to me, you little shit! Give it no! Fun <laughs> What the? That's the monkey you took me in the woods! Oh shit! Okay, just stay right there, monkey, and no one will get hurt. He's gonna run! No, he's not. He definitely is. He seems smart enough to know when to. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> <coughs> monkey! <coughs> Stop! <coughs> I'm fucking told! He's, he's gone now! <coughs> fucking go get him! <coughs> Madam! Madam Redwood! We have intruders! Alright, you asked for it! Ah! <coughs> You never should have come here, Al. This will be your final mistake. Get ready to. You. 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 You stabbed me. That was me. Flenzy? Come on, kitty fiddler. If anyone's gonna kill you, it's gonna be me. Not some talking ape. Did you get him? Oh, by the gods. Yurik, your face. Um, uh, am I? Am I still beautiful? You never were fucking beautiful, Alf. Uh, the Mr. T flight lead didn't help, though. Uh, uh, kill me. Sorry, boy, Alf. Not today. Maybe some other day. But right now, we got a witch to kill. So I'll pick it! Alright. Give me back my sword. Oh yeah. Here you are. Sorry about the the monkey board. It's fine. You You saved my life, Gnome. Yeah, I did. Don't get it twisted though. You're still a cunt. Anyway, let's go. So, do you now understand your destiny, George? Um, no, not really. Could you maybe repeat it again, please? More slowly this time. I find it hard to concentrate ever since Sir and his school friends used my head as a training dummy. Ah, that's awful. Just know, if you choose to accept your true path, you will never have to deal with that again. Yeah, I'm still not sure what destiny you're talking about. All right, I'll say it one more time, just to. What the? Take this, witch bitch! Wah! What did you just throw over me? Yeah, a bucket of sweet, sweet witch nectar. In other words, it's a bucket of your own shit. How does it feel? Yeah, my man! Oh, you wretched little fuckers. I'll end you all for this. Leave my friends alone! Ah! My luck! George, get out of I got him! Come on, George! You all pay for this! We have to go! Now! Pay for this, bitch! Wow! Ah, shit! Awaken my children! See my enemies turned inside out! Everyone, run! Ah! Wait! What about the children? Leave them! No time! What? We can't leave them! Sure we can! I'm far more important than any of them anyway! No! They've got demonic! There's no saving them now! What do we do? After them! Run! We blow!
bloody run! Back to the village! Come on! My god, what another exciting chapter in the tale of Nightclub, but do not fear, the end is not here. Join us next time for a thrilling conclusion to this three-part special. I have been your narrator, Transatlantic Ted, and you have all been superstars. So until next time, goodbye! Thank <laughs> you.